What's up guys? Hello and namaste. Welcome to another video on my channel One Last with Vithika. So today I'm exploring a beautiful monastery in Darjeeling, Dali Monastery. Right now I am standing right in front of Dali Monastery and it is one of the oldest monastery in Darjeeling. It is located at the hilltop in the Darjeeling at an altitude of 7000 feet above sea level. Now it is it covers one of the largest area in Darjeeling and a big monastery which is not well trodden by the tourist uh, in your usual Darjeeling itinerary. So yes, let's explore this place and uh, let's see what's hidden here for us. There's an entry fee to Dali Monastery for which you need to pay rupees 20 and the ticket counter is right beside the entry gate. Dali Monastery is one of the most prominent monasteries of the Kragyuk sect built by Kabji Tukse Rinpoche in the year 1971. The monastery is known for the preserving age-old culture and tradition of the Tibetan monks. It serves as the headquarter and the residence for Dukchen Rinpoche the 12th, who is the supreme leader of the Kragyup sect. The best time to visit Dali Monastery is either in the morning or in the evening when the prayers and chanting takes place. Since I was traveling solo, I had this entire freedom to roam around and take every bit and piece of this place. My heart and mind and soul is still there in the monastery because I was completely driven by the divinity of the place and I'm surely gonna go back again Also, this monastery is just between Ghum railway station and Darjeeling railway station, just on the Dali. So, Dali is basically a stop between Ghum and Darjeeling. The place has its own beauty and own tranquility and every corner, it's an architectural marvel. Every, every corner I'm roaming around is an architectural marvel. And of course, the peace and the serenity is there in every corner of this monastery. So, it's a must visit if you are planning your Darjeeling trip next time. Dali Monastery is a home of almost 210 monks and the Tibetan Buddhist of the Drukchen sect lives here. Now Dali Monastery has the fortune to receive the Highness Dalai Lama in the year 1993 and he stayed here for three days. So this is an amazing place, such a holy, I'm getting a 
a tremendous amount of spiritual upliftment here when whenever i'm exploring which every corner is a full of spirituality full of peace uh, that's what his monastery is all about So I asked him uh, regarding if there's any festival. So no festival, but आज मतलब कहाँ से आए ये लोग? ये लोग तो लद्दाख से आए हैं। ये लोग किस्ता यात्रा करने के लिए आए हैं ना? Okay, so these are all Buddhist people. Sahib, oh, all Buddhist people. All Buddhist. तो हमारा ये लद्दाख में भी बड़े गुम्बा है। Hemis Monastery बोलता है। Hemis Mon. Hemis Mon. Okay. वहाँ से आए हुए हैं। ये लोग शायद बुद्ध गाय से बनारस होए के यहाँ पर आए हैं। ओके तो ये एक पूरा ट्रिप होता है पिलग्रिम का लद्दाख से बुद्ध गया हो के डाली हम लोग बुद्धिस बुद्धिस लोग ये ठंडा महीने में बहुत तीर्थ यात्रा करते हैं तीर्थ यात्रा करते हैं ओके हम लोग भी जाता है लद्दाख जाता है बुद्ध गया जाता है बनारस जाता है ओके एंड आई हैव हार्ड दैट द हाईलेस दलाई लामा हैज कम हियर एक बार उन आए थे इन द ईयर 1993 तो so I have been really fortunate again with uh, so many pilgrims here. They have come from Nubra Valley, from Leh, and they have covered Bodh Gaya, and now they have come here. So it's uh, such a holy time that I've come, met so many uh, pilgrimage, uh, pilgrim people who have come here to offer their prayers and, uh, you know, uh, fulfill their purpose of life. So yes, my visit to Dali Monastery have been an amazing experience. And I hope you guys are also enjoy watching this video. Make sure to subscribe this video to get more such uh, adventurous video coming up on my channel. And if you are liking it, make sure to give it a big like as well. After exploring the monastery, I found a small temple where a goddess deity was worshipped. I found out that it was an auspicious day and it was the worship day of the deity. The monks inside the temple was preparing for the worship and I found myself a place quiet and sit there for some time. I was simply drawn by the divinity and the spirituality of the place. I was making my own prayers. And I also found this the giant prayer wheels and I could not resist myself from doing a prayer with this giant wheels. It was quite thrilling. So that is all for today. That is all for today's video all the way from Dali Monastery in Darjeeling. Make sure to keep it in your bucket list next time when you are visiting Darjeeling. If you enjoyed this video then make sure to subscribe my channel. Don't forget that and give a big like. Comment below about your experience while watching this video. And yes, thank you so much for watching. See you guys on my next video. Till then, take care. I love you all. Bye.